Greetings, this is Mr. Solomon with another edition of Teacher Gaming Desk. This is episode four, and we're going to explore the game Life of Brian from Arctopia. I always start with desk.teachergaming.com so we can check on our class progress. And I can also start a lesson. So you can see that I've already started a lesson, and I'm going to ignore that for now. Right now, I'm just going to go to review so I can see how our class is doing so far. So this is student progress sorted by maximum skill points. I could also sort by different items. So if I want to sort by mathematics, I can then see who has the highest mathematics score. And then if I want to go to class progress, I can check on mathematics and see what kind of math they've been using. So here we've played slice fractions. That'll be in a future episode. So that's just how Teacher Gaming Desk works. If I want to go to teach and start a lesson, I can then find Life of Brian. I have 10 lessons that have been favorited. It's an easy way to keep track. So here's our first one, managing your time. So I will preview this lesson. This is usually how we start. So if I start the lesson, I'll start a new lesson so you can see how it looks from the beginning. So this is all about financial literacy and opportunity cost. And you can see that the website has always a little check-in. So I can go through the next and go through each slide. Talk about what choices do you have with equal opportunities? How does scarcity affect your life? So students are going to have to make choices on how to spend their time and their money in order to reach the objective. So then I go to the play phase. And once I have that, I can see all the students in our class. And then I can go over a brief overview of the goal of the lesson. It's a little more complex, as the instructions say. Failure to take your character, to take care of your character, basically going to school and making sure you have enough money, will result in not meeting the game's objective. And then if I scroll past this, I can see all the students that have been logged in in the past. So once I see my student list, I can then go to Teacher Gaming Desk application. That's on my desktop. Signed in with my class code and my user ID. And then you can see when I click OK that there's a lesson in progress. That's what I started on the website. So if I click on it, I can then launch Life of Brian. I like this game. First, they borrowed the title from the Monty Python movie, even though Brian is spelled differently. But that's what caught my attention in the first place. And it's a great application for learning financial literacy and opportunity cost. So you can see that my class ID and username is borrowed over as I play. And then this goes over a brief learning point and lesson overview, learning about choices and scarcity. So as you read these, opportunity cost is what next your best choice of what you're going to choose. And then to do a little check-in for understanding, do you remember what the learning points are? So it's the first three. The, first, the last one is not correct. Opportunity cost is what you do with your money and your choices. So now I'm ready to start the game. It always starts with a brief tutorial that helps new players get started. The goal is to prepare him for exams so he can enter college. Brian's family doesn't have enough money, so he needs to work part-time to help sustain his expenses. So there's a weekly schedule. you got to make sure that your happiness, your energy level is high. I'll go over all those settings in just a moment. You have to maintain an attendance of 60% or higher. And you have to increase your knowledge or maintain your knowledge at 75% or higher. Knowledge is done through going to school. So if you skip a lot of school, you'll lose knowledge and won't be able to meet the objective. So this shows me my current location. Action buttons are what you do on your turn. And so now it's going to quickly give me a little tutorial on how to do that. So if I click on travel, as the instructions say, I can then travel to another location. So if I want to go from home, I can walk, which costs energy, or take the bus, which costs money. So if I want to go to school, you can see that walking requires 10 energy points, and the bus 
requires one coin. I'll take the bus. And now you plan the rest of the week. So the things to keep an eye on, every choice comes with an opportunity cost, the next best alternative. Up here, you want to keep your happiness, your energy, your food, and your health. Right now I can see the only thing that's low is my food. This is my knowledge counter. This is my attendance counter. And then at the bottom of the page, you have a daily schedule. So right now it's in the morning. So if I'm at school, I can take some action by going to the canteen, getting something to eat. So this helps my hunger. I gain energy, but it costs me some money. Uh, I will eat at the school cafeteria and then you can see that my hunger bar has increased slightly. I'm going to stay in school since it's the morning and now I will go to class and learn something. I lose a little happiness when you're in school but you do gain some knowledge. And then one more time I'll stay in school and this action I will go to the library. So you can see library you do nothing but gain. So I want to use that. Now I can see it's the middle of the day, down here at the bottom, I'm keeping track. I can then spend some more time in school, or I can go to the cafe, I'll spend more time in school. If you click and drag, you can move the map around. There are things to do at the stadium, so if I wanted to go to the stadium, I would have to take an action of travel. So I'm going to travel to another location. So if I want to go to the stadium, it's going to cost me 10 energy or one token. I'll use energy this time. So now you can see my energy level got a little lower. My attendance at school is still 95%. And then when I'm at the stadium, I have actions that I can do there. So if I'd like to get a job, I lose happiness, but I earn $6. So I'm going to say OK. I now have a job at the stadium. I'll take another action, do some running at the stadium, I gain health, but I lose hunger, and I lose energy. I'm going to cancel that because my health meter over here, if I look, is pretty high already, so there's no sense making it get better. So I will travel back to school. And that will cost me one bus token coin. When I'm at school, I'll take some more action. I need some food. Doesn't look like my hunger is low enough, so I'll do some studying at the library so I can gain happiness and knowledge. So then you keep playing the round. We'll play this till the end of the first day so you can get an idea of what to do. If I want to travel now to travel and then go to the cafe, I can walk there. Cost me 10 energy points. And then at the cafe, I have actions that I can take. So I can get a second job. I can increase my club sandwich, you can see, cost $5, that's what I gain. If I choose a club salad, it costs $7, but I increase some of my other settings. So students always have choices in this game of what to do, which is what opportunity cost is all about. So it's getting towards evening. I'm now going to travel back home, get some rest. So if I click on my house, there is home. I will walk and use some energy points. And then once I'm at home, I have actions that I could take. Maybe I will do some gaming and relax, gain some happiness. That's already high, so I'm going to skip that. Maybe I should sleep. So I gain energy. Since my energy bar over here is the lowest of the four, I will use that. So this is basically how the game works. You just repeat the same patterns. I'm going to get some more sleep or maybe do some gaming and relax. Happiness is still high. No need for that. Studying looks good. I'm going to get more energy. So I'm going to sleep it off for the night. And at the end of the first day, it gives you an overview. So I can see what I've been doing each day. So it says between, here's my day. I spent time at the canteen. Then I went to class. I went to the library. I went and worked in the stadium. I went back to the library. I had something to eat. And it looks like I went to bed early at 6 p.m. So that is the end of the first day. And then you continue this pattern. Keep an eye on 
attendance, knowledge, and the four things, energy, happiness, hunger, and health, and making sure I have enough money. So it looks like I need to increase my money. So I'll just keep playing the game this way until the end of seven weeks, and then see if I met the objective, which is pass the college exam. Okay, so I've been playing Life of Brian for three days now. I can look at my summary of my week. So you can see between six and eight, what I've been doing. I've spent eight to 10 in class, 10 to 12. I've done different things each day. 12 to two, lunchtime, I spent different ways. And as I scroll across, you can see. And then these last two days, I was so tapped out of energy that it forced me to go home. So I didn't get to make action choices for the last two segments of the day. And then if I go back to my website and look, I can then see that me as a player has completed three days. So this is what lets me keep track of what students are doing and how long they're taking playing the game. And then if you click on the top right to share and discuss, you can then have a discussion at the completion. What did you do when you had two choices of seemingly equal opportunity cost? Great example is when you're traveling. Do you travel and use energy or do you travel and use some of your money? How does scarcity affect play? So these are good reflective questions. You also have other resources that you can watch more movies to gain more background knowledge. When the lesson is complete, I click on complete lesson up here on the top right. And it says only one student, that would be me, has participated Skill points only given to those that participate. So I'm going to complete the lesson. Now I can say how I liked it. This is a new feature. I didn't see this before. So I like this lesson and I will click done. And then if you look, I have earned six skill points by playing Life of Brian. And so this is how you can use Teacher Gaming Desk and how it integrates with different games on the Teacher Gaming application. We'll do more episodes featuring other games. Thanks for watching.